Okay, I want to go over the various components used in putting together a split head uh, for doing moldings and such. These are the cutters that we use on the clock. I want to show you how to set them up in the head properly. Um, these are the collar sets. Notice the top one, if you can see here, has a serrated cylinder that rotates and in doing so it moves the knife in and out um, for a micro adjust. These are the two cutters. Now this one is marked with an L. That means the lead cutter. So when you put it together, we want the lead cutter to be sticking out about a sixteenth of an inch or so more um, than the trailer, which is pretty much there to balance it out and to help doing a little bit of the hogging. But the final profile and the detailed profiling is done with the lead. Um, when the head is assembled with the cutters in the middle, these bolts will drop down and tie it together. You want to make sure in doing so that you have enough thread in there to make it safe, although keep in mind you are going to have the spindle nut on top of this, but you don't want it so long that it's coming through the bottom. That will impact how it mounts on the spindle itself. So and we have a whole drawer full of these things in various lengths on the um, right side of the shaper cabinet. Now to put this thing together, I'm going to set it down, making sure that this is slid flush with the outer circumference of it. I'm going to drop this one in. I'm just going to do a quick zoom here. If you look at that, if this is set too far back, that can actually become part of the profiling and it will smack your molding and actually do some damage. You want to try to bring it into there. All right. So I'm going to drop the head on it. making sure it engages in the cylinder. And then I'm just going to drop these through and get them started. You can't assemble the whole thing off the spindle because the inner hull of these collars must be in perfect alignment or you'll never get it on there. I'm just going to kind of drop it over and then set my projection. Now I usually try to set it so I'm falling inside with this particular um, clock cutter inside of this ring. Now there's my trailer, there's my lead. So using my square, I'm going to reference off the spot down here and rotate it around. And that's actually working out fairly well. That trailer is back about a heavy 32nd of an inch from the lead, so, so that's good. If I did have to adjust it, I would take one of these Allen keys, set it in here and twist it in and out to move it. Uh, and there is a little bit of play you can just do by hand, just give it a little shove and that'll do it. But with the cutters in place, I want to tighten it down. Double check it once again, here's my lead, and there it just stopped moving it. You can see this one's back about a heavy 32nd, so that's good. At this point, this is basically a cartridge that I can take on, take off. Many companies have shelves of these things just ready to drop right on. At that point, I would then put on my spacer and tighten it down. But that is basically how you set up the split head. 